So far, aside from these turkeys over here chilling on this fence, I am the only one here at this unbelievable yard sale. There should be people lined up for miles, but I'm here all alone. I have the whole place to myself. By the way, I'm Tanya, and I'm so excited to share this with you. I cannot believe this piece right here. This is out of the Beverly Wilshire Hotel. How they got their hands on it, I don't even know. Room 839. This is awesome. $95. This whole entire yard sale is full of stunners. I just want to live right here in this front yard. What I love most about these country yard sales and barn sales is that you never know what you're going to find. Yes, I have to travel in all directions to get there, but the most beautiful, interesting, and unique finds are all hidden on these old country roads. For instance, this yard sale is full of vintage and antiques. The next one is full of mid-century modern that is mind-blowing. And then the last yard sale that I went to, or barn sale I should say, is full of farmhouse style. I love all different styles and that's what thrifting's all about for me. It's the surprise. It's the thrill of the hunt. It's finding things that I'm highly unlikely to find anywhere else. Definitely not at my local big box stores. So if that's the kind of content you like to see too, consider hitting the subscribe button while you watch this video and let me know in the comments below so I can bring you more of it. We would love to have you join our happy, growing little YouTube family who I love and adore by the way because you are the ones helping me make this possible. Thank you so, so much for being here, YouTube family, because without you, I wouldn't even have a channel. Okay, sorry for being so mushy. I'm done now. Let's get at some stuff. These frames are amazing. Yep, 50 bucks. Sold. I cried real tears this time. I'm not going to lie. Look at this marble top. Oh my gosh. They had offered it to a friend before the sale ever started and the friend wanted it. Good size wall to put it on. Uh, I have a Victorian, so it might work. Oh yeah. Maybe. <laughs> They're big pieces. I mean, the thing is, there's like... Um... Thank you so much for your help. Wow, I love it. I just love this fabric. Wow. going for? I would love to do that. She just asked me if I'd like to go inside this big storage bin here and see everything they haven't brought out yet. Um, yes please. This storage container is huge. I don't know if we're going to see anything great in there, but I'm not passing up this opportunity. People are starting to show up, so I gotta hurry. And there's this lawyer's bookcase that's Let's 
this little nightstand thingy. Is that a nightstand? It's a nightstand, yeah. It's, you know, it's warped mm -hmm. on the top, but the chair, I mean, everything, everything back in here. Oh, that chair's very cute. Pink suit. This curtain is out of an old local community theater, but so far they can only find one of the panels. It's got a lot of discoloration, but I think there's enough fabric here for me to recover a chair, and I think this velvet is gorgeous. These are for holding curtains. Now that's fancy. Ombre frame, amazing.
souvenir kind of a thing. Yeah. Is it? Um, did you just overhear them talking about furniture like I did? In a second here, we're going to go inside the house and we're going to see what else they have that isn't out on the in the front yard here. This little handmade sweater, cardigan, long, adorable thing. Killing me, I love it. This next yard sale here is in Locke, California. They're still pulling things out of the barn on this side, so we're going to start at the opposite end of the property where there is a garage full of stuff, and then all of the furniture and everything else they have set out spans the entire length of the property. So here's a little backstory on this place. I got a flyer at the Vintage and Antique Flea Market that I've been going to lately. I have videos on that, by the way, if you'd like to watch those, they're on my channel. I drove all the way out here on good faith. I just had a good feeling about it, and it did not disappoint. But as it turns out, this gentleman at one time had a mid-century modern business, and so now that he's not going to be doing that anymore, he's just unloading everything. One of the problems is that a lot of it has been sitting out on the property and has gotten damaged, but that is quite all right. Because if you're willing to put a little elbow grease into furniture, you can run away with some amazing deals this way. <laughs> Luckily it didn't break, it was made to last for sure. That's so, what I would need because so in different flavors, restore well, a finish, these, and it has different colors for depending I, I, on the wood type. Is that it? That's very astute. Is it? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> It's in Hebrew and in Arabic. That's what I made. That is 
there is. We're heading outside now. We're going to take a look at all the furniture that's been sitting out. Some of it's in great condition, some of it's in really bad condition, but we're going to see it all. Every piece is covered in dust, so make sure you bring your imagination with you. But just imagine these recovered, refinished. If you like to paint furniture, or if you like to restain furniture, or if you know how to do upholstery, this is a really a treasure trove. Oh, the sun's coming out for us right now. Look at this dreamy beauty. Are you kidding me? This is a big mid-century modern yes. Look at this part. Ooh, fun. Folds out into a little desk. Okay, wow, these loungers are really fun. All right, I think these are fiberglass. This is, I think, the most fun I've had in a long time looking at stuff. That seems like a good deal, right? I don't yeah. know anything about cars, but it really does seem yeah, like a... Put money into it, yeah. Up. <laughs> you used to eat. Huh. Wow. I do not know how to get you guys skill for this, but amazing. They're huge. It's like a four hundred dollar roll of wallpaper, and I did. I had gray stuff too, and I did my bathroom in it. Kind of cool. It looks real. Yeah, it's 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 a uh, it's a percentage of real hide. Wow. The canner bottles, you know, the bigger yes. ones. I got a few boxes of them in here, but most. Okay. And what about that vase there? Uh, which one? This this one here? Yeah. Yeah. Eight bucks. Eight bucks? Yep. Okay. 
He does construction work like I do, but... This nephew? Yeah. Oh. I, I don't. Very cool. It's out of 1975, I believe. since my high school days. Mm. He's 85 years old now and he does this kind of stuff. This yard sale is so super cute. This lady has been a collector. She's been a stay-at-home mom. Now her kids are gone and she's decided to kind of put her wares out and start selling them. This tall, narrow pantry door right here is something that's been on my list for a while. I'm looking for one for my entryway and I'm going to make it a console tabletop, but it wasn't quite wide enough. So close. She has everything set up so nice and cute.
before I show you my haul, I want to remind you that the next video coming out is going to be the flea market, the vintage antique flea market video. And it's the second to last one. There'll be one more in December and then that's it. So if you want to see that, uh, keep an eye on that. Keep an eye out for it this week. And what else do I have to tell you about? So much. Uh, pretty soon you'll see a lot of the things that I've thrifted because I've been redoing my whole house and I'll be sharing those with you coming up. I also have another really amazing thrifting video coming up that I am so excited to share with you. It was really incredible and Full of surprises. So don't forget to hit subscribe if you don't want to miss those. I really hope that you enjoyed that video because I really enjoyed making it. I had so much fun going out there into the country and filming. I will definitely spend the winter looking for estate sales out that direction. The finds are just incredible. So fingers crossed we'll find more. And I'm going to show you my little haul that I got. I'm being really super selective lately because there's very specific things I'm looking for. So I did get a little haul though, and I will show you what I brought home with me. I couldn't pass up these matching Vaseline glass dishes. I just love them. Personally, I love to stack them. I'm going to be on the lookout for a pink one too, and I have a yellow one now. So... I'm just gonna stack them in my cabinet. I also could not pass up this vase. I love the little, what do you call this? The little tulip top, so pretty. And look at that. Just gorgeous. The colors just really stand out to me as really striking. I also picked up this little milk glass hobnail perfume bottle. It needs some cleanup for sure. It's yellowing a little bit, but that's pretty easy to take care of. I was thinking instead of using it as a bud vase, I might use it for candles. I might just turn into a candlestick holder, get a little twin for it. Fantastic, they're so pretty. And last but not least, I could not pass up this curtain. It's from a stage and there's just something so dramatic about that, am I right? So I'm using this to cover the chair that I'm sitting in actually. It's a thrifted chair and it needs exactly this, I feel like. I just, I love velvet and I really wish that they could have found the matching one. There might be enough to get two chairs out of this, I'm hoping. I just love the way the fabric sits. It kind of has a life of its own. It has all this movement in it. Ugh, I love velvet. Who doesn't love velvet? Oh. Thank you so much for thrifting with me. I wish you all the thrifting luck in the world. Happy thrifting.